What up, YouTube? Uh, well, I guess we're technically four weeks out today. Um, maybe. I don't really know how that shit works. But last week was five weeks out, so this has got to be four weeks out at some point. But it's Tuesday, uh, just after Labor Day. Had a chill day yesterday, just did some stuff around the house, went to shipwreck, got my workout, cardio in, 15, 18,000 steps for the day. So putting that work in. Uh, talked to coach yesterday, sent him some pictures. Conditioning's getting better. Uh, weight is up a little bit, but stabilizing. So uh, I woke up this morning, 211. And um, so we're only down a few pounds, but conditioning's getting way better. I'm eating way more food. So food's not dropping again this week. Cardio's getting increased. Um, so we're doing uh, 20 minutes of cardio post-workout and three, four days a week plus. Um, so I've got a recumbent bike at the house. I've got it set up by the couch. That way I can just chill with the family, watch TV. And uh, it's very low impact. Um, not as many calories burned, so we got to do a little bit more there. So we're doing 30 to 45 minutes on the recumbent bike. A little bit of the prep brain forgetting some things so i've got a great productivity app uh, i usually do really well with that but i'm gonna have to be 100 percent on my game this week putting everything in setting reminders having my calendar set up so i've got to be on my a game um, i've got systems in place i'm running a supplement company i've got a full-time job uh, do consulting and formulating for a couple other brands personal training online coaching so I've got a lot of irons in the fire, technically two or three businesses running at the same time, plus a full-time career where, um, you know, I manage uh, basically a whole manufacturing facility. But as things are starting to heat up, the competitive side of me is coming out. It's like, I don't want to be miserable, have these cement legs and, and do all this shit and just feel fatigued and then come in and, and get fucking fourth place or something. And I think that's the way that you gotta be with anything that you do, is if you're gonna put your full effort in, you need to believe in yourself that you can crush it, that you will be the number one. With our supplements, there's a million supplement companies out there, but I believe that we do the best. When you gotta believe that you're gonna be number one, or else why even try? And you don't have to be number one, you never actually have to get number one. So legs have felt like pure cement this week, all the extra cardio, diet being as tough as it is. So we're about to do an ice bath, try to pull some of that inflammation down. Just got done doing cardio. Never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Almost not enough water. Yo, what's up guys? Just finished my workout. Figured I would give you an update. After the ice bath last night, my legs feel incredible. Um, just been feeling super heavy, hard to kind of walk around, just, you know, feel like they're full of cement. But what I will say is the thing with ice baths is they can limit the good inflammation uh, caused by hypertrophy and exercise. So there are studies that show ice baths reducing muscle growth around workouts. If you're gonna do an ice bath, do it a few hours after your workout. That way you get your body to process the good inflammation, and all the nutrients that it needs to the muscle. And then later in the day, as everything builds up, you start to get more sore. Um, it can be good to uh, go ahead and get an ice bath in there to kind of pound that bad inflammation down. Uh, what does cold do to blood flow? You know, so a lot of times when we talk about uh, injuries and all that, they say, hey, ice the injuries. Well, the newer research shows that icing injuries can actually be counterproductive. So blood flow is the key to recovery. So typically that means adding heat. So I've done quite a few Epsom baths in hot water, uh, but this was really to just kind of smash all inflammation and get a reset so i won't do this a ton plus 
you know, it took like 21 pounds of ice and I probably needed another 10, 15 pounds of ice. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that all the time. I'll do uh, some full day of eatings this week and post those as a separate video. Four and a half weeks. All right guys, another quick prep update here. The fatigue is real this morning. So I felt like I slept decent last night, but nothing is working. No amount of caffeine, no amount of stimulants, but the fatigue is just full body concrete, just drained, no energy. But the crazy thing is, is that when I finally get my mind to it and we pick up the weights, I'm in the gym, and that sets rolling is the strength's there. Like, pull the weight. We're rowing 300 pounds. Set it down, can't hardly fucking stand up. It makes no sense. What's up, guys? Just came back from the gym. Got a pair of posing trunks from a buddy of mine. Size 34, I'm trying to get into a size 32, but he's gonna let me try them out, see how they fit. I think these are uh, yeah, they're the Chula wear ones. So I want to see how the fit goes. See if waist can go into a 32 or if we got to stay at the 34, or maybe do some alterations to make the legs look swole up. But we'll do some, uh, comparisons here in a minute. So lighting isn't great right here, but these are the 34s and, uh, somewhat tight on the legs. Decent, decent cut here. You do can see like the train legs, but I don't know. I've probably got an inch or two of space here in the waist here. So. I think definitely going with the 32s to help pull out these legs some more. And really, I like just real, real tight fit here. What's up guys? It's 4.20 in the morning, getting our breakfast set up here. Can I show you guys what we got going in the mornings now? So pre-workout meal is 45 grams of Boba Gains. Got this nice electric kettle here. Uh, that way I don't have to run the microwave a whole bunch of times. So it works out really great. Actually better with the Boba Gains than the actual regular cream of rice. So I did also pick up one of these uh, waist trainers just as an extra step to try to bring my waist in a little bit. Um, but they don't work in the way that you think they do. So on the way to the gym, we'll kind of run through how I plan to use it, what I think they're useful for. The reason why I got one is as I'm losing weight, I've always had just a little bit of a protrusion on my lower abdominal muscles. And I've been trying to do the vacuums, which works uh, your transverse abdominus muscle, which is also what they call the corset. Uh, muscle which keeps your ab chamber in check basically so it wraps all the way around your body um, and this is what you use when you breathe out strongly or breathe in strongly that contracts or relaxes so the way that a waist trainer can work um, and not in the form of like a corset where you continually get it tighter and tighter and you start rearranging your organs 
uh, we want to just place a little bit of pressure against that abdominal wall as a physical reminder anytime that you relax your transverse abdominus too much. So when you start to breathe out and you see these guys with uh, bubble gut or belly distensions and you can see it with people that are really muscular and also people that aren't, is you relax and you breathe out really hard and you relax that transverse abdominus and it bulges out. And what can happen over time is that your muscular wall stretches. So we're trying to do the reverse here is just as you exhale and you're in that kind of relaxed breathing, you have a physical barrier there that is kind of sending an alert signal to your brain going, okay, that's far enough. As you're posing, doing these other things, you're breathing out, you're breathing very heavily, uh, especially if you're in a weight class that has to do a ton of posing or you end up doing you know, a couple classes back to back, which I'm not sure if I'm doing yet or not. But what that does is now you have an idea of what your relaxed breathing should be and you should have more control over uh, potential belly distension.